Good morning, guys. So, um, so welcome back again to uh, right. I changed the automation, right? Uh, the last video, right? Uh, we created a simple framework for the Flipkart application. Okay. So, if you have uh, seen the part one video, uh, we have created the simple structure. Uh, we have added package base class. Uh, we have added hooks, right? We have a some function, uh, utilities, right? We added pages, step definition, random file, and we added these folders, and we added this form.x. Okay. So, and we write update to the project and we stop it. Okay. So, now as a part of a plan, right? So we are going to write search this product. We are going to write a code. For example, I'm just going to click mobile, right? Enter mobile. I'm going to this code. This is a simple test case. I'm not going anything, uh, do, doing any right big here, right? Just a simple test case. Uh, we'll write a run through, right? We'll add the library class. We'll add reusable class and we'll add one test case and then we'll run it and stop. So this is the plan here, okay? So first, what we'll do is we'll add the library class here. Okay. So base class is, is a common right class where right this live we add this library class for launching an application uh, which can be used in all the test cases in all the pages. Right. So we create a simple class, library class, where we keep the basic launch code, like uh, launching in Chrome, right, launching through Firefox. Safari are different browsers. We launch and drive our close method. We keep here, okay? And we'll get the values from the property file. So that's a basic simple thing, uh, right? We write here. Let's uh, write, uh, create one uh, um, uh, method, launch application. Okay, so I created a method. I I make it. I'm just making it as a right public, right? So so access modified public. I'm using. Okay, then right. Then what I'll do is I'll just first write. We'll create a config dot property. We'll go there and create a config dot property file. Okay, so let's rename to properties. Since you are going to add extend report property also, let's rename the folder as property here. Properties, right? Okay. Properties. Okay. Now we'll add one file config dot property okay now what i'll do is i'll just give basic two things right one is a first browser right and that will a value browser equal to chrome this we keep outside because Right in runtime, whatever browser we want in work will invoke here. Okay. For example, write browser Chrome or Firefox or Safari, right? Whatever browser I want to write, right? Call it, I can call it with the help of outside a separate file. Uh, right there. So no need to go inside the code and change anything. Okay. Now next one is URL. URL in real time world, right? That this is just URL that we UAT URL to the production URL. All right, there will be different URLs, right? Whatever URL you want in work, you can change it and you can do from here. Okay. Let's go and type HTTPS. Then we'll go, uh, we'll go there and take this URL and paste here. Okay, so we'll add the URL here. Let's jump into library class now. Okay, now in the library class, we'll write a write, we'll first write, read and write the property file. For that, we use file input string. Okay, in Java, we use file input string for right, reading that from the 
outside file, right? So uh, file input string, uh, input equal to new file input string. Okay, and we'll write import those package, right? What are package corresponding package file input stream Java IO. Okay, so it, we import the package Java IO. Then we should add the path of the config dot property here. Okay, we will take go to copy qualified name and paste that. Okay, and we add right close IO exception. Okay, now let's go all right go to the next line and create one reference right first we'll add outside right a global variable we do it public static properties right property under right on right prop and we'll import the properties Yeah, it's from the Java Apple package, right? Now, let's go inside the code, give prop equal to new, right? Properties. Okay. Now, bracket, semicolon, okay? Now, let's go, right? Give prop dot load input. Okay, so the reference we called it. Okay, now let's uh, write what we'll do is okay, we'll add a try catch here. Okay, for writing the code for a right browsers, whatever browser we want to use it, right? We'll use a flow, well, slow, right? Right, right, difference condition we use prop dot get property method. Get properties for getting the property from the config.property file, right? And which parameter we want the browser. Browser after the dot equals ignore case. So we are just ignoring whatever the case, right? Of the uh, right browser which we are giving, okay? This method is used to ignore the case. It's, it won't be a case in C1. Chrome. Then give right, we'll give parentheses and just write the basic code, right? Uh, la, la, invoking the whatever browser we want, right? Launching the browser, whatever browser we want. Web driver manager dot chrome driver. Moment, guys. Web driver manager not set up. Okay, driver equal to yeah. We'll first we'll create a web driver, right? We'll go outside. We'll create globally public static. Web driver driver. Web driver is an interface and driver is no object, right? Change web driver. Then driver equal to new Chrome driver. This right. Uh, in this case, we wrote, we give for Chrome driver. Okay, Chrome driver. Let me call it. Okay. 
and we'll import the clone driver package. Okay. Now we'll give an error to this condition. Else if else space if then in a bracket, same thing, right? We'll copy and paste. We'll do a smart work here. We'll go. Give Firefox. We'll copy that and we'll paste here. Okay, and we'll change it to the right our right jet code driver, right? Firefox driver will change it. Okay. Now same thing, we'll change it to the Firefox driver here. We'll import the package, Firefox driver package, same thing. Now, let's go and create the other basic codes like manage, window maximize, implicit weight, right? We'll create the basic right, package here, okay? okay? Driver dot, driver dot, we'll write the basic line of code. Driver dot manage, manage method dot window is used to maximize the window right when we run the browser okay uh drive dot manage dot window dot maximize next one is we'll add an implicit weight we'll ask them to ask the right the driver to wait for 30 seconds right driver dot manage timeout dot implicit weight okay Then time of time unit dot seconds. So it will wait for right 20 seconds here. Okay. Time unit dot seconds. I give a semicolon. That should be fine. Okay. Now let's go and go and launch a URL. We now we should the uh, URL should be. Uh, got from the config dot property so driver dot get driver dot get hmm. prop dot dot get okay in double course URL whatever right attribute we gave it there config dot profit okay now we'll add a catch right we will try box right we use catch here catch exception okay now we last is we just give us give us a sub here Browser didn't launch, all right? Browser in double quotes will give browser. This is a library class, right? Basic class. This code can be expanded with, with multiple browsers Chrome, Firefox, Safari. We can add more, we can add switch cases in future videos. You'll see, right? This code can be right expanded, all right? Uh, so we can expand this code, but this is a basic setup right as of now time being. So we just give a very basic setup here. Okay. Next, we'll add another method, public void. Right, tear down. Okay, driver dot. This is a basic, uh, right? Large code here. This very basic stuff is not a bigger one, it's very smaller one. Okay, now let's go to the uh, right reusable, send name reusable, and we'll create right, uh, right some methods here. Okay, okay, first, what we'll do is we'll go to the send name uh, reusable. Okay, send name reusable, right? We'll add the inheritance here. 
एक्सटेंस लाइब्रेरी एक्सटेंस लाइब्रेरी We'll import the library package. Okay, library class will do it. Okay, next one is right. We'll use the constructor here. Public selling reusable. Right, we'll pass right web driver driver. Okay, then we'll add this to make it right to the current one. Okay, this dot driver equal to driver. We use this to make it to the current one. Okay, this dot driver equal to driver. Okay, next we'll add some basic reusable methods. This selenium reusable class, right? In this class, what we'll do is we'll add some basic reusable code, like for example, right? Enter by a value. Taking a screenshot, right? Handling a drop down, handling a uh, scroll button, upload file, upload functionality, uh, download functionality. Okay. Uh, next one is handling an alert, handling a windows, all right? Uh, handling a frames, all right? So we're handling a web table, right? Multi select drop down, all right? So there are different right operations which we do in selling action class, mouse movements, right? Drag and drop, pick and hold. Like that, all these methods can be added in this Selenium reusable class, okay? So now let's create one of the first method here. I'm not going to do everything. We'll create a basic methods whenever we need it for uh, doing a Flipkart end to auto automation, we'll add this method, okay? Let's first create a basic method here public void okay enter value okay then we we'll add right we will add first web element we we'll add the web element element comma string whatever text we want to enter. Okay, we'll import web element. Then we'll add, write the code here. Okay, we'll add try catch. Try element dot send Okay, text, what our text want to give, we give here. We'll add the cash block here. Exception E, what our exception we want to pass, right? For example, no such element exception. This out, no such element exception. So what we basically do is we are going to construct a small framework, right? Whenever we need it, we are going to expand this framework, okay? So our basic aim is to automate Flipkart applications or to the max, right? How many test cases we want to automate, we are going to automate. Whenever needed, we add it, okay? Got it? It's fine, okay? Now next, add another two methods here. I'm not going to put too much here. Uh, but whenever needed, we are going to enhance this particular thing. Okay. We'll add right, uh, we'll add a double click, right? So uh, right, single click, right? What we'll do is we'll add one uh, method, public void click, right? Web element element. What are element we want to click it? This will pass as the argument here. Element, okay. Then we'll go for the try catch here. Element dot click. Okay. 
okay now we'll go for the catch block here this also will go no system in the exception exception okay now let's go and create another method here okay get title just want to get the title here okay let's make it public so if you want to get the title of a page right we use this method try the previous method if i want to click a particular web element i'll i'll call that particular method this method is used to get the title of a page okay so out driver dot get title Catch exception here. Next one is we'll we'll add the extra whatever whatever message we want to pass right. Sys out. Right. Uh, couldn't get the title. Okay. What we'll do is we'll add another method, last method for this video. But future, whenever we need to automate this application, we are going to add a lot of reusable codes. Okay, so guys, keep a watch on this right particular class. Okay, public void. Screenshot. Okay. Okay, let's uh, right add this one, right? One minute. A let public void screenshot. Okay. So for that we'll give string the path, the argument intuitive path. Okay. Then we'll add this parenthesis. Okay. Then we'll uh, use the interface, right? Take screenshot interface. Okay, and TS, okay, equal to okay, a text text screenshot, right? Interface, right? It will be implemented by remote web driver, okay? A text screenshot, DS equal to text screenshot drive, okay? Take screenshot five. Okay. Now let's go to the next line. We'll import this right interface. Second one, right? OAGO. Open QSL name. Same thing we'll import here. So next we'll what we'll do is is going to store as a file right this the screenshot is going to capture and it's going to store as a file for that we'll return it as file we'll type file right the reference source equal to ts dot we'll use this method right get screenshot as output type dot file output type dot file will take it hmm. right when we'll, we'll, our exception will add it and change file to source right okay 
Now we'll add dry catch here. File utils. Okay. Dot copy dot copy file dot source and the destination, right? Source equal to new file and path. The path, the destination where we want to store it, that will call use it whenever whatever test case you want it. Which file name and what which path you want to store the screenshot will give that. Okay. Now we'll add the catch block. Couldn't sys out screenshot not found. No, like you can add right screenshot not found. Okay, this right will add it. Okay, one thing right that should be a, a good implementation. We should, we should always comment the code. Okay, it's a good thing, right? You comment. The code. Right. Enter. Enter the text. Right. Enter text. Enter the text of a web of an element. Right. Right. Clicks the element. Right. Yes. Good to comment. It's always the best practice. Right. In automation, is to comment the code. Fix the element. Okay. The next one is gets the title of the page. Gets the title of the page. Next one is we'll scroll down. Takes the screenshot of the test case. Takes the screenshot of the test case. Okay, like that we should comment the code. Okay, now uh, as of now, I'm starting this video. You can watch the next video, part three video. So already we put part one where we create a structure. In the part two video, we create a library class and reusable. Next part, we'll add hoops. Then we'll go for one particular test case and we'll execute guys. Okay, hope this video is useful for you. Kindly write, uh, feel free to drop your comments. All right, and any right things you can share to us. Thank you.